<laughs> Alrighty, two on two, everybody. Happy is in the grand final. He is probably thrilled that he is playing this two on two now. Alongside 40, who he just defeated. Lolight and Sock, can the War 3 champions winners claim the bronze medalist? Former War 3 champions winners claim the bronze medal. We are starting on Tidewater Glades and Lolight seems to be in a solid mood. Is he wearing a football jersey? Uh, I think that's just a tracksuit, bro. Oh, oh, Seems sorry. Like you don't have enough Russian friends, buddy. That's a tracksuit. <laughs> that's a cliche. That. Okay, I'm gonna ask him uh, what it is. Oh, yeah, it could just be a shirt. Anyway! Look at Fly looking hot, though. That's right. Is Lolly. Lolly yet. Ooh, 40 is shouting. He seemed to be way more energetic than in the in the one-on-ones. Yeah. Time to let off steam with the chat. People are probably complaining. Tanks, man. Why are they for supply? It's <laughs> boo bullshit. <laughs> Thank you, Sanguini Usli, for the eight month. Good to see Remo again. Missed him in the dach. Oh, we had anxiety and Flutchi and Sparta and Link. That was also fine. So, human undead versus human night owl. I, I, it's just a rare combo to see in a match. Yeah, so far we saw the orcs looking pretty dominant, right? Like with the headhunter play, the tier 3, especially the early shadow hunters, seemed like the orcs were able to, able to dominate the game early. Carry on advantage into the late stages. Now we have no work at all in our 2v2 here. Archmages, though, Brilliant's aura is still something that nobody wants to. That's right, same can be said maybe later for a paladin on the human knight outside. On Synergy and here on Tidewater. I kind of hope for mountain giants. I wonder if Happy. And 40 will give them the time though. I would say Happy and 40, the aggressive team, while well, Lawlight and Sock are mostly going for expansions and ultra late game. Or it could be wrong. Yeah, we'll see what the plan here is gonna be looking like. So far, just a bit of creeping at the start, no aggression just yet. Both teams. Walking around in tandem. Dude, have you ever driven a tandem? I always thought that that looked kind of fun, but I imagine it's harder than it looks as well. Yeah, it's not really fun, I gotta say. It looks oh, fun done from it? the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, sev several occasions, actually. Um, it's kind of... It's, it's, so, it's so weird when you are the one that's not behind the... Is it called a wheel and a bike as well? I don't know, not a native. It's so weird when you're on a bike and you can't control it. I yeah. I don't tr I have trust issues, you know? So that's not for me. Yeah, I would like to try that. I can imagine as well though that it's weird if you can't steer. Dude, do you remember those YouTube videos where they build a bike specifically designed that when you steer left on the bicycle, it goes right. <laughs> and when you steer right, it goes left. <laughs> That is like something right out of hell. Yeah. Satan himself. If you want to break my arms and legs, put me on one of these things. Holy moly, the happy items. All right, we got the code activated. Those gloves and claws could also fit nicely on the lich. I wonder if he's gonna be nudging 40 to help him out a little bit. Especially after that previous game, I'm sure 40 would love to oblige. I agree. Hiasis, thank you for the sub. 53 months. If Lin doesn't win, total. What? Odd. Anyway, sweet attack towards the Hunter's Hall. That makes it no lores. Don't know if he built them. I don't think so. Oh, wait. That's really bad, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, no tier 2 units for such a long time. This puts Lolai in a very awkward spot. At least he gets level 3 demoner. That is a big, important level up. Was flying. Where are the burns, baby? Where are the burns at? 
Dimara doesn't have boots, has a tough time getting in the right spot. And Sok has to help out his ally. The AM is showing up. Foot over here. Ooh, Ahmed though. Ouch. Feels the pain. One more coil would be his end. And he has to TP out. Hey, 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 hey. Lolite and Sock on the receiving end. I would have given them the edge in this matchup in the best of five. But so far, it's the 40 and happy show. They, of course, warmed up. Before the match, in the first minutes of the match, Lolite and Sock were both in a pretty good mood. The facial expression has changed a little bit. Yeah, the Merc pressure here was looking really strong. Quick level 2 on 40 and happy soon followed suit. And they can just back off now with the aura. The fiends are pretty fast. Like I mentioned before, there's no boots in the Demon Hunter. And the annoying thing is there's just no catch in the Korean team's army. Now finally there is. Soft catch with the Naga. And now there's finally something to hunt down these ones. Catch him if you can. Yeah, I would love to have the Dryads, but can't. Demon Hunter gets up front, but Mana Potion. Oh, used it for nothing. A bit of a mistake by Appy there. He was out of range too long. Pit Lloyd second again by 40. We saw that before with the cleave in the front line and the DK to help him out, heal him up with the coils. And that's a hero that doesn't care about getting mana burned. That's right. Is it Ascalor though? Is the big question. Against the footies, it's pretty good. Now the mana potion does make some sense. We have the Pally on Sock, his favorite second hero. What's that Pit Lord doing? Whoopsie, 40. What a dono. That was a big mistake. He was trying to target fire something with the rest of the army and the Piddler was following. The Piddler was in the same group. Normally the Piddler is supposed to be getting micro individually, ideally. That's a big micro mistake by Flory. That is no good. Once again goes to show that it's not really his weekend. Happy trying to salvage this fight with his fiend damage output. We get another donation. Osiris and L, thank you for the 12th month. This city must be purged. Thank you very much, Osiris. <laughs> All items up here, hanging out in the middle. The demon hunter is looking pretty damn strong as a solid frontliner. The holy light to heal the demon is absolutely glorious. In the real region, by the way, also. The demon is recovering nicely while He's waiting for tier 3. I wonder if Sock or Lawlight, one of them, is going to get him, perhaps. I'd say it's gonna be Lawlight. Bears or MGs. Well, Bears may be a bit too squishy for the twos, but Mountain Giants is what they love. And I, I, I'd I, bet something that we'll see it on Synergy if 40 and Happy allow it. Lower supply numbers, Lawlight has to catch up. Lores, oh, Lores are coming up now, dude. But tier 3 is done. Alright, we'll see soon what units will be joining from the Lores. Indeed, Mountain Giants seem to be a good call here. Both humans on tier 2, both are going to be going for some casters, and I guess in 40's case, Breakers. Provide that front line. Demon Hunter looking sweet. Going for the red spot, gets a mana burn on top of the mana burn, because the map heard that he likes mana burn. Expo for 40. And this is where Tidewater Glade starts to shine. We arrive at tier 3, we go for more bases, and then we have big, 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 big late game fights. The item up here as well for 40 and happy if they get one of the crazy items and they can secure an expansion with it. This could be a big contributing factor to the win. No orb yet, by the way. Corruption. It is the Furball summon. Wait, is that the one with Stomp? Yeah, you know, I still didn't do my homework when it comes to these summons. No, I don't think it should be. Wait. Wait. Is this a specific drop table? Because the Swirlbog doesn't normally drop on Twisted, right? Or does it? it Was that changed? Does? I'd say it does. No, in the past it certainly didn't. Oh wait. Dude. <laughs> Am I missing something? <laughs> uh, it used to be the, the Mana Burn dude, the Fellhound, and the Rock Golem. It's 
spawned there. And the dragon. And it used to be the red drake a long time ago. But that, I don't think that's the thing anymore. It's the blue dragon now. Well, we might be seeing it. Maybe it's two different fur works. Who knows? Paladin level three. That's some nice healing. Mountain giants are in. Good distraction. DK nuking the DH. Oh boy, what a chaotic fight this is. Lots of mercs still on 40 and happy damage output is crazy with fiends. But the heal ward is doing an excellent job on Soxide. Yeah, it is the fur Now I remember, um, that's the one with fairy, fairy fire. Ah. Fairy fire cast that. And that was changed a few patches ago, but he didn't live for long. Rip for a bog. Mountain Giant was tanking the front line for a good time pretty well, but only one MG. The E was are getting taken out quickly. The Blizzard is doing a great job. And now the Demon Hunter can't even burn anymore. Yeah, still having water elementals after the 10 minute mark. Oftentimes seems to be a liability here. There is silence against it, but that's about it. But they don't have the time to go to a shop. That's the problem. The heal ward's still excellent. Fiends are the front line now. That's not supposed to happen. Man, I would love to see one wagon for the disease cloud family. Can you imagine the value, baby? Just a bit of disease being spread around here. Fight keeps raging. The wife's in the back. Pretty hurt. So is the pit lord. It always seems to be that one coil just in time when happy needs it. But now the DK is well and truly dry. We do have double mountain giants now. Third mountain giant. This seems now like a really solid combat for Lola. MG equals GG. Demon Hunter is being supported by this paladin. Can soak up so much damage than being healed with one, two clicks. Heal scroll still available for happy and 40. They need it. MVP at the moment, always Blizzard. Can't really close the gap. It's an amazing spell for zoning. Commander receiving so much healing. It's wonderful for him. He was just staffed out. Healing now at home from the Moonwells and got a second orb of Venom. Perhaps even Sock could grab one later with the Dark Mage. I don't know if we'll see a much later game because this expansion is up and running in the north and there's no critical damage on the happy and 40 what was that coil i think he's about to get burned so wanted to use it four mgs now in the front line great tanks great front liners but where's the damage really coming from there's yeah, right. Venom was supposed to do it. I guess so. With inner fire rifle, things would of course be different, but then there's also breakers to steal it. So no inner fire, also no tier three. Naga is putting some damage. That's sweet. Gets a fiend every now and then, but the kiting, it's so in sync by 40 and happy now. Really lovely. Still, the Koreans push him back. The MGs are so damn difficult to deal with. Seriously, one me wagon for the Z here would have been sick. <laughs> I feel like I heard that before. He's got this out, by the way. I don't know if he just got it, but he has upgraded. Let's F and go! Might be an A-bomb, though, which I would not like so much. Hmm. Against this number of riflemen, it's not that great indeed. Double mana potion on the pally. Kinda sick. Can we get Blizzard now? Blizzard might be a knockout punch, but it's just a lot of heal scrolls and an invul. Still so high up on the mount and the water elementals. It's the dream for the Demon Hunter, by the way. Holy Light over and over and over. This yep. Demon Hunter should never be dying. He's got great items as well, so yeah. tanky. Not the most insane damage, but the Orb of Venom is helping a lot. And the expansion has been spotted. I'm not sure if the expansion will be standing for too much longer. The third hero coming for Holy Light as well. Probably gonna be the bottom. And 40 is going for a base attack, trying to distract from the expansions. Sok is the only one still staying at 50, so the economical advantage isn't even that crazy for 40 and Happy. And once they clobber this base down, they can fight again at the bottom right hand side. Should have a TP. We have a one on one fight here between Law Lion and Happy with five MGs. All you need, baby MGs and orbs of Venom. Oh. Okay. I must have misheard the lyrics then. Love is also pretty good. Beetles suck though. God damn. Armies unite! Well, I is doing a fantastic job in pushing Happy away. 
The disease cloud is always sweet, but against mountain giants? A bomb out now. Fight's kind of split. We have 40 fighting in the north. Happy over here going up against the mountain giants. Also, rifles fighting against breakers, though. That's not normally considered the best matchup for them. I love that there's one MG here as well. Tanking for the boys. Really, really nice. Still in love with the blizzard, but doesn't seem like he's hitting that much. And yeah, breakers. What do these breakers really do? Another level up here, Archmage level 4, Naga also on the way to level 3. Lawlight was happy in a one-on-one, -on -one. probably not what Lawlight wants <laughs> necessarily, but if Sock is winning the mirror match up top, that's more than enough. Lawlight might be winning as well. He's got triple orb of venom and a ton of MGs, yep. which are so hard to cut through. And there's still two yield scrolls on Sock. Oh, the value. Damn, nice play by Lawlight and Sock holding on against the previous pressure play against the expansion. Once the MGs were up, everything was turning their way. I think Sock is owning this fight. Yeah, Pally Rifles are owning these breakers. So nice how the Pit Lord never really paid off, right? I mean, he's nice to have in the front line, but no items and no level 2 cleave, plus a lot of pressure on him. This didn't really work. He's not the carry he's supposed to be. Blood Mage would have probably been way better. Drain the Demoner, drain the other heroes. Secure mana superiority. Maybe it's going to be an adjustment for the following map, because right now it's looking really good for the Korean team. All right, and Sok still pressing on. We don't have an expansion, though, so if Happy and Sok, uh, Happy and Forty can hold, oh, the DK gets surrounded here by big MGs. And he has to TP out. Destro falls last second. Something Happy is uh, not really satisfied with, I guess. Water Elementals getting some kills. Pit Lord falling soon. Still has an invo potion to be saved, but man, does he need DK support. Forty is just holding, but there's... I, I don't really see him winning a single meter. Sock still pushing against his base, and they own this now. Sock and Lawlight now in a wonderful position. They got the huge MG front line against which there just seems to be no counter. How do you deal with all these mountain giants? Yeah, that's always the question when you see tier 3 Night Elf Human. This is so rough. In the quarterfinal, I saw these mountain giants also be paired with the Paladin. And then you put Inner Fire on top and have three armor upgrades. And boom, these mountain giants are unkillable base wrecking machines. A little bit different here as they're up against breakers, but uh, still, it's a fun combo if you're a human night elf team. Yeah, in theory, we tier three knights to... could work, but that is so hard to get to too expensive often time, especially if you were trying to expand. <laughs> Blizzard is doing a good amount of damage now against these MGs. They got four they orbs. Well. Oh hell yeah, dude! <laughs> Look at the A bombs melt. <laughs> It's so much damage. Heal scrolls uh, would be kind of nice, of course. Paladin is here to the rescue with double mana potion. This could be 30 supply falling, oh, though. Oh, yeah. Hold on. The oh! Cleave, the blizzard, the MGs, starting to drop very, very low. Question is, is there enough moon juice to heal them up again? No way they're winning this, man. No way. Quad Orb of Venom. If the MGs can heal again and provide the front line, but there wasn't enough juice. Of course, they have so much HP, it's really hard to heal them. And Happy and oh Forty might God. have the lead again here. Happy is really close to big level ups everywhere. I did not see this coming. That's crazy. Sock under pressure now. Supply is relatively even, but of course, Oliath's army is half dead, as displayed in the overlay, of course, because it displays the average health of the units. The damage on A-bombs is still nuts, melting in seconds. But Pitlot level 3 now, huge change as well with Cleave. Has a good connection there on the MGs for a moment. Needs to be able to stand there and deliver. Has to keep attacking. Fortitude uh, struggling a bit with the micro at times with the Pitlord. 
still the MGs are very hurt and they're holding their own for now, right now. So they have a heal scope. Could, could stack up a lot. How much damage this disease cloud did, man, over time. It's nuts. And they pushed them back. They're about to conquer Sock's base. And I feel this blizzard is uber MVP. Oh, Pit Lord now, far forward, taking a lot of damage. Oh boy. Is there anyone for him? Yes, there is. Holding on to it for now. Archmage. Deep in. Uh oh. 40. Too what? far forward with his first hero. Has to dispel. Trying to reposition. AM. Oh. Almost dying. Oh my god. That was almost a huge throw. This Archmage is at 30,000 damage. The Pit Lord falls. Okay. Oh, 40 is struggling. Clearly the weak link in these micro battles. Devotion Aura level 2 helps the Mountain Giants a ton, of course. But still... It, Sock has very little left. Absolutely true. 46 supply only for him. Another rifle goes down. They're quite exposed now. Level 5 on the Archmage. I would love to see Blizzard here. I mean, Aura here, but nobody does that. Let's build it instead. Wow, crazy long fights, 22 minutes in. Main base is about to expire, and Happy and 40, they're just erecting another base. They're mining again. Soon, now. 40 has his one up. It was a scary moment when that one fell earlier. The mountain giants were seemingly overpowering, but it was a way back for 40 and Happy. Taking out Sox main base now. Sox seems to be almost a non-factor. At this point in the game, we have some fairy dragons being added in, and currently there's no web. But Remo, they say MG equals GG. How is that possible? Blizzard is getting even crazier now, if he has the time. But maybe the game is over soon. Last little push with regen mountain giants. But man, if you look at the... Yet. Huh? Okay. MGs okay. are fairly healthy, and I think the big problem here is for 40, he's no man on the Archmage. He has almost no Blizzard anymore. No Fairy Dragon to gone for that. Wait. Ron is disrupting Rook quite a bit, but Sock, his positioning, not the craziest at the moment. DK far forward, but not enough damage despite the four orbs. Needs a holy light, gets a holy light. I'd say the breakers here in the back. Now they can slowly deal with the statues, with the priests. Law Light has moved his Tree of Eternity. But that has been spotted. Happy knows about it. And they could swing over there for an attack right away. <sighs> Great Tucker War. But it might just be an economical win. Happy even with Cannibalize in a 2 and 2 I think I didn't see that before. Yo, it's clobbering time. Just the Tree of Eternity. There's a little bit of teal movement in the north. But that shouldn't... They have to clobber down both of the bases and then close the supply gap, which is quite significant. Trying to regroup one more time and then go for a last ditch effort the supply lead now is absolutely enormous enormously in favor of happy and fortitude all they have to do now is hold on to these bases and this game will certainly be theirs yeah this looks looks a bit unwinnable here for lawlight and suck they still see some hope somewhere would be a classic caster thing to say now, oh, maybe they're thinking about the strategy on the next map. I don't think any player ever did that. We lied to the audience for years. What do you say about that? <laughs> Pit Lord surrounded again. The positioning on 40's heroes here seems a little eager at times. Crazy blizzard though. Great damage against the mountain giants. Pitlord does manage to get out for now. Entangled again though, being poked at. And there's no coil at the moment. The amount of birds working out well. Airplanes completely dry. 
to the MGs are starting to disappear. Yep, and with that, all the supply goes down. The equation doesn't stand true anymore. Level 4 on the lid. Blizzard now with classic 36,000 damage. And of course, shop control for happy and 40. If they have gold, they can go for heal scrolls, invuls, protection scrolls, whatever. Level 5 Demon Hunter strong. But not strong enough. Archmage close to level 5, but also that won't change the thing. And it's game! Happy and 40! Take map number one. I thought. I thought it's over. After the expansion fell, but no, they still had some momentum. Yeah, interesting game. It seemed to be swinging back and forth like a seesaw with Happy um, along with 40 at the start when they were pushing into Low Light's base, getting the Hunter's Hall cancel and then really asserting their pressure seemed to be looking great for him. The Mountain Giants turned the tide almost enough to win the game, but somehow they were able to come overcome all that beef, or in that case, stone in the end. And perhaps Mountain Giants won't be the one golden ticket. I think it's mostly about Blizzard. Like, not having Blizzard was a gigantic mistake. These water elementals really didn't do much. If you have the front line of Blizzard and put the water, uh, the, the, the front line of Mountain Giants and put the Blizzard damage on top, I think Sock and Lola win this. Uh, yeah, I could see that. Blizzard is looking indeed pretty crazy in the 2v2. Water Elemental is great at the start for some good creeping, hitting some uh, precious power spikes. But the Blizzard late game seems to have been an absolute, a huge difference maker. Maybe Sok was thinking he would love to use that Orb of Venom, and that doesn't work with Blizzard. But mm. it seems like that is not the best exchange, really. Nope. But they have a good chance to switch it up. As Synergy is relatively similar in army composition compared to Tight Water Glades. And that's up next. Bad pick for Sock and Lolai. Synergy it will be. Here we do have Healing Fountains, and that makes a big difference. That is amazing for the Mountain Giants specifically. I wonder how much of that was the reason for the map pick here. Both bases are very close to each other. You can cooperate when it comes to building your hometown. In their hometown, they would probably put a grocery store, Neil, unlike in yours. Yeah, but what can you really get from the shops of human... Like, they can only buy scrolls. It's basically half a library. A couple of potions, but Dude, I got I got a gas You can buy potion. a mechanical critter. You can buy yourself a mechanical pet. That you don't even have to feed. Dude, I would do that <laughs> instantly. And it would do everything that I said. It's very slow, though. I, I, someone played a mechanical critter recently. Was it Sock or 40? Maybe 40. That was fun. On Hammerfall. I don't think I saw that game. Wait, you're not hey, watching we'll every single gonna... game? Every single cast? Did I do? <laughs> What? Sometimes I miss one or two things. I must admit. I am sorry. I will admit it now before the gods. I forgive you because it's Easter. The Easter weekend, folks. Hopefully you're going to have a wonderful weekend and holidays, perhaps with family, perhaps not. If not, we can be your family here today and tomorrow. We're going to have lots of Warcraft action in store. This is our third place match, of course, for the 2v2s. After this... You don't want to miss that because that after this we're gonna have the grand final, Happy versus Lin for the decider of the championship. Who's the best player in March? Thank you, Buttcrumbs, for gifting us up to Mechanical Bum. Gifts up number two thousand two hundred forty-five. Solid number. Synergy, where you build your bases together. Humans can use the moon worlds. Ancient of War protecting alongside Militia. You get Clarities for the Undead Heroes. The Power of Friendship. Power of Friendship, indeed. So, what are the heroes? We got the Archmage. I guess that's a given on both sides. 
The only question mark is, is it going to be a Demon Hunter again? Or might it be a Keeper this time? Hey. Demon Hunter should fare well. Because of the mana burns against Undead Human. <laughs> so funny to compare the player camps of 40 and Happy in the early game. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so funny. 40 energetic and yelling and screaming. Smiling. Happy, uh, not, it's a little bit of yin and yang. Happy's all business, baby. He has a long work day today. A long series earlier. Now this 2v2. Grand final is yet to come up. It is the Demander, by the way. No keeper here. Again, a strong Demander late game intended to help out in the later stages. And there was a strong demon indeed, but not quite strong enough. The synergy is really good with the Paladin. I don't think it was the... It was a wrong call to go for it. Yeah. I agree. I think 40 should definitely go for it, let me just tell I feel like that one would, win. It would work way better. And the Pit Lord is so stylish, dude! Happy. You could go for a Pit Lord, actually. The Dark Ranger... Didn't do much, really. Nah. Would have been solid against the uh, Blizzard Archmage. Maybe that's what he expected. But then it's also super expensive. So many options in 2 and 2. It's actually quite cool. Once again, we're creeping up a bunch at the start of the game. All heroes are about to reach level 2. Shops here in the middle also give you a rune of the watcher if you can pick it up, so this is gonna be wonderful vision vision for the whole game. I just imagined how it is when 40 and Happy are in a voice call together. I'm fairly sure they aren't. And they yep. communicate with pings and stuff. But man, 40 yelling at his chat, thanking people for the donos and happy just playing his game. It's just so ultimately funny to me. Oh man, tick! <laughs> Speaking of 40, he's stealing this camp away right here. But did he get the XP? Maybe Sora actually stole the last hit here. I'm not sure he's had more experience, that's for sure. But 40 did get the vision. Watch award picked up. Happy was staying pretty passive for a long time on his side of the map. The Fiend play, of course, takes a while to come online. Yep, always have to go for Graveyard and Crypt, but now it's there, and now it's adding some solid damage to this army. Couple of kills left and right, early brawling, as on all four sides the tech's on full. Tier 3, I guess, once again, will be expected by Happy and Lawliot. The Mountain Giants did look really good, especially when first they came out. And like we mentioned a bunch of times, we do have health fountains here. So you can save all that moon juice for Demon Hunter for a rainy day. Speaking of Demon Hunter, looking strong here with the boots and these good items. Right on. Pushing the DK away. Also pretty effective with the parry app in terms of healing. Can drop it, drink, pick it up again. Boom, full HP. DK very hurt here. That's certainly a prep for some movement in the mid game. Question is where to go next to continue creeping. Because uh, sooner or later they will have to. Lawlight this time not delayed on the lores. They're coming up right now. And it's the Naga. Big change, of course, in Lawlight and Sox play that the Hunter's Hole didn't fail. That threw them back minutes when it came to Mountain Giant techs. This time, everything fluent, a little bit more control in the mid game, maybe with Dryads and the attack to Mountain Giants uh, again. Just everything a little faster. It's once more the Pit Lord second, not the Blood Mage that I was hoping for. And of course also work well. Given some rings right away that tanks him up very nicely. 
And Happy's really struggling with the levels so far. Not even level 3 at most. Yeah, he was so hurt so early on. The H getting caught here though. Worst case DP, what with boots he can just walk it off. Pitlord is a tanky tanky boy with two rings. DK has another one. And evasion. That's kind of a sweet setup already as Happy is coming in from the north. But Demon Hunter doesn't bother. Happy right now also enjoying those clarity potions. Mm, they are quite, quite nice indeed. We're building a little bit of a death ball between 40 and Happy. Rifles are coming in, all right, but fiend damage clearly ahead. This pit lord shouldn't be touched. We got a paladin. They're aiming for the DK, but I don't think they can reach. Paladin mana is gone already. Has a big mana potion though. This could be a holy light surprise. Very good fight so far for Lola and then Sock getting a few kills at the start. Happy's Fiends now in jeopardy. And one of them, another one, is falling. Naga looking for more kills with a cold arrow. Happy trying to get out and escape. Oh. 40 still in the mix here. Fighting on. But doing that alone is pretty difficult. Alrighty, Town Portal Force. Map presence established. This is shop control. Wonder if they buy something. So far, they don't. And they need a lot of resources. Lawlight on tier 3. And this time also Sock going for tier 3. Oh, okay. I guess so. Mortar teams with frag shots in the back are also outstanding. Does he have a workshop yet? He might be working on that workshop. Bro, that pit lord is level 1 and has 15 armor and evasion and can be coiled. Uh, yeah, bro. The raid boss. Hiya! Brilliant Zora. Sweet for priests. But he has that already thanks to Archmage. So forget what I said. Can sell it now. Some gold. It's also pretty nice. Gold. I like gold. Yeah, we're gearing up for the mountain giants once again. That all takes a little bit of time. Then we stack up orbs and then we are ready. It's a lot about positioning on this map. As in the middle there are two very narrow chokes. Hard time for breakers. Hard time for mountain giants. Good item for the DH. Yeah, the be pretty stacked. Doesn't even have enough room right now. These little ghosts, when they fall, their armor is so loud. Right up, huh? What? It wakes you right up, huh? <laughs> yes. Happy sells the Brilliance Aura as well, as he's rooming together with 40. Nobody's breaking up keep just yet. All gearing up the calm before the storm. Wow. We'll attack into Happy's base here with the rifle army. Let's talk about the pally rifles. Kind of second, that is. We've seen him a lot of times before, look quite strong. And a nice attack here, saved everything, no cooldown on the Holy Light. Was able to keep everything alive quite nicely. And I think there's an expansion now coming as well for Lala. Right on, why not? They should be able to hold the fort here. Very good items on them. Thank you, butt crumbs for gifting a sub to Mia Khalifa. Big Warcraft fan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, Lola well, here clearing the fountain, opening up the heal opportunity. There's also a rune of speed here, which is pretty interesting. Now we got a push by Happy and Woody. Woody in upkeep. Happy not quite yet. 
And the one thing we don't have yet, by the way, is disease cloud. It was an upgrade that really helped out earlier. Never mind, there is disease cloud. I take that back. But no unit yet to spread it. Alrighty, we're going to the tree. For the tree. And that is an easy cancel. Or is it? Lolite is here, taunt distracting. And we got Blizzard on sock side. Oh, let it rain. Happy's trying to commit to the tree kill, and he's gonna get it. Right now, Lord Eye, this army looks uh, stronger though, right? I think I even saw an orb of fire in here somewhere. The Lich is super hurt already. Oh my god, Happy's getting absolutely annihilated here. <laughs> the enemies on top of him getting rid of the fiends so quick. On the right hand side, it's also not looking that great for 40. The rifle damage is more than solid. They gotta retreat a little bit as the Naga is low with the Pelon, of course, a great, great caretaker. Happy has to take care of that Lich. Fork Lightning is coming in, but there was a bit of healing. But yeah, these fights, man, it's kind of brutal for Happy and 40 at the moment. Hitler is going to town, though. They have nowhere near enough damage to deal with these mountain giants. Paladin's helping them out greatly, and of course, there's going to be a fountain to make use of later. So tanky as well. And that whole life on is amazing. Breakers are all about to fall. The mortar teams with the shards soon. Oh, they have it already. So yeah, that's amazing against medium armor breakers. Even that pit lord can't out damage them. The mountain giants look like as they've never been touched. Happy is forced into a TP and that is, yes, an expansion gone, but still a major win for Lol and Sock. Absolutely. And they're feeling very good, feeling far ahead. Lol double expanding here in the corners, left and right. It's gonna be very difficult for Happy and Forty to find those spaces and deal with them. Forty has to get back, has to heal up. Same for Happy. There's still mana burns though, so obnoxious. Mortar Team's great addition. Blizzard, great addition. The pit lord damage is nice, but I don't know. It's, uh, still feels a little overwhelming. The fights are long and the damage will spread and that damage is kind of necessary, but it's not the impact that we all theory crafted. No, I've honestly not been really impressed with the lord. I still think a blood mage would be better. IMO. Oh my god. MGs for the front line, inner fire rifle for the back line, sick heroes, the whole for the team hunter, still insane. Oh, baby! <laughs> Mortars and frag shards, man, such a crazy source of damage. Inner fire A bombs. I don't know if I've seen that before. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about that. They can just steal the inner fire. Yeah, maybe you don't want to try that one. Nah, 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 nah. Maybe for the mortars though, as the breakers are in the front line usually. Lola, it lost a lot. Was taking the keep, by the way. Oh, trying to take out the human main base. I'm not sure if it was successful. Now the mortar is getting reached. One went down, but only one. Sock gets out still with a big army. And the low HP giants can now heal at the fountain. Did they get a little too greedy there, or was it a miscontrol? They did take out the keep, as you said, also a lot of damage on the peasants. So over time, this is not gonna be pretty for Happy and 40 as the third base is up. They gotta do something about it and save time for their own economy. 40 is a no upkeeper that doesn't even help him because he got no income. Devastating blow. The fight before where they took out so many units and then also taking out the keep. So much mining missing. Getting so far ahead on gold. Absolutely wonderful. Man, always low. Demon is dominating these enemy heroes. Without a blood mage, this demon has nothing to fear. Not really, no. But. Not the craziest damage on him thus far, despite the boots. They're pushing them back. It's 
a lot of damage. No heal scroll, no more statues can't heal everything. They're kind of dry here, actually. And again, the mortar damage. Can't empathize this enough how much of a change that is. Five MGs now in the front line. All Light's army is very one-sided. <laughs> There's only MGs, nothing else. And we are the best tanks. In the late game, 2v2. <sighs> Trying to hear what they're made of. Alright, 40 and happy in the ropes. Not only do they have uh, less supply, they're also pretty much dead. Can fight at home though, that should be incredible base defense with a an undead base being the undead base and 40 being able to call militia. But the scroll of region, man, that has to work over quite some time. Can we cancel them somehow? This could be the last fight of map two. Huge lead for the Korean team. Even on Blight here, it's hard to imagine that Happy's gonna have a chance. This is ridiculous, so dude. The mortar connection first to the priest, one shot them, going over to the mountain uh, to the to the breakers. They're out of the fight. Happy is stepping against the defeat, but it's just a matter of time at this point. Lawlight at 80 food. MGs do equal GG this time. Even if it didn't quite work on map one here on map two, they are looking glorious. The health fountains. Such a difference. Among other things, all of the fast tier three on the human side, quite nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> more teams take it out one more time. AOE meta, everybody! Pit Lord, uh, again, only 10k damage. Easy, the damage dealer of the map is the Archmage plus the Mortars. Great adjustments and the W. Lawlight and Sock doing exactly what we told them to do. And all of a sudden there's a win. Yep, well done. They have the perfect map counter pick here. Makes you wonder if perhaps Happy and 40 shouldn't remove this map. But I guess they vetoed LT, right? Where there's also health fountains. I guess it would have been... A similar kind of an issue. So Lawlight and Sock, they tie it up. Well done. Okay then. Turtle Rock, a very, very, very different map, of course. We talked about this at length now. Very small, push heavy, but with Knight of Human, couldn't you come up with a push strat? Because Undead, in general, is relatively slow. Yeah, maybe you could try to go for a fast Dryad play. Dryad and Rifle push. But if you can't win the game right away, the Fiends might tear you apart. Of course, the Fiend count might be high right away if it's a Fiend opening. But we've seen Happy sometimes also with Ghoul openings. Um, I guess you only played that on Nullwood, though. That backfired hard. Hard against TH's Mountain King. Yep. Thank you, Bob Sacramento, for 43 months. 43 months of me pronouncing your name wrong on purpose, because you like that. Thank you very much, good sir. We have still hopefully three maps to go here in the 2v2. The 1v1 grand final is coming up later. Linus... Enjoying the entertainment here. Has the opportunity to sit back in a relaxed fashion, watch the others hard at work, and get the plans laid out in order for the grand final. The 2v2's grand final will be tomorrow with Fly and Infi versus TH and Lin. So Lin, the double grand finalist, I guess. That's right. He could own... The entirety of March, or just go home with double silverware. Everything's possible. But yeah, I wonder if Happy is slowly but steady getting exhausted. Map number... 7 coming up. There's definitely gonna be number 8. And maybe even number 9. 
And then only the best of seven grand final starts. Good thing for him though. He never gets tired. You, you think he's working out? Whew, that's a good question. I know. Maybe start cardio, trying to take more care of his health. I don't think he's doing weight training really. The last time we saw at Raraland, he has gotten really thin, really thin, way thinner than in the past. I remember asking him uh, or telling him that, uh, oh man, uh, you lost quite a bit of weight. <laughs> and then his answer was, yeah, obviously, you can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a, what a dumb question. What a, it wasn't even a question. What a, it's a, yeah, I, I can, I can feel it. I can feel it. Yeah. A lot of people uh, like hearing that and take it as a reaffirming statement for what they've been working towards. Um, nope. Yeah. Uh, nope. Not, not everybody. Nope. Though. Nope. 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 And back then we had the wonderful sponsor uh, of Koala, which he did even try a few of. And he liked, obviously. I would assume they were all right. Yeah, one could take it as an invite to say, yeah, I changed my nutrition, I'm working out. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, it is obvious. Everybody can see with this wonderful player cam. Oh, rubbing his eyes already. Is that a sign of fatigue? Is that the one thing that can stop happy today? Has a lot of Warcraft still to play. We are ready for map number three. Winners here will take match point. Turtle Rock it is. This is the choice of Happy and 40 now, of course. That's right. Wonder what their plan is. If there's any switches, I'd be incredibly surprised to see Mountain Giants here. But the heroes and units will tell us. Come on, press the button. DK it is. Archmage on the other side most likely. Or do we have any MKs in the mix? I don't believe so. At the oh. risk of sounding like a broken record, I would still like to see the Blood Mage second. Maybe just for an experiment. The Pit Lord, I really don't think did too much. Have you, did you take a look at the damage counter on the Pit Lord? It's like 10k. I suppose it's not too bad. But the nice thing about the Blood Mage is you can take all the mana away from the demon. And then there's no more birds. Yeah, Demon Hunter has to be in the front row, so Siphon should be easy. But so far, same or similar setups. It's happy. I didn't see the base. Is he not going fiends, maybe? That could be the adjustment. Uh, yeah, this is a blue build. Yeah. Should be. With Turtle Rock easy creeping, of course. More presence early on, on a small map like this. One of the one-on-ones. It's once again Lolite on Happy's lane. So what if they just play one-on-one -on -one the left-hand side, have a fairly even human mirror, and Happy just destroys Lolite in 9 minutes 30 with like a ghoul push? It's my game plan. I think they're just going in right now. Forces combined into Lolite's main base. The Wisps and the Archers could be in trouble right away. Happy even brought a dust to have reveal. No coil, aura first, pressure right away at only 3 minutes into the game. Oh boy, that's the ultimate early game combo, isn't it? 40 and his Wattle Mental Footy attacks, Happy and his DK Ghoul attacks, terrorizing uh, the tournaments in one-on-one, -on -one, now combined. But, of course, Sock can help all out of it. That's a great detonate right there. Happy had to surround on the Wattle Elemental. Almost denied, but it does go down. A bit more XP for Happy. He's almost level 2 now. Archer's now hiding in the shadows. But the DK has the dust. If he gets there, could look for more. But DK uh, chasing after the AM, which seems weird. A little bit of a distraction here, so he cannot use the dust when needed. Good bait by the Sockstar. Now they find the archers, and now it gets dangerous. Here come the ghouls along with the footmen. The aura is active, of course, for all of them. And the first archer kill would be the level 2 for the DK. And I think he is going to get it right there. Now we got the coil. Demon Hunter has the mana burn, though. Can work against it, and we got 
water them all, all over the place. That's a lot. They're not watering the plants. Nuke on the Archmage. Pressure rising. Archers have to evacuate. No damage uptime on them. Trying to surround the Archmage with joint forces. Oh, only blocking. No damage. Almost able to force the AM into a TP. I think Sock had the TP home, right? Yep, he did, but he's coming back. The TK now also very hurt. And I think the Light is holding. It took some doing, took some effort. But this should be cleaned up finally. Barely any losses on Happy and 40 though. Sweet early game. What do you think? Should we switch the starting positions here on Turtle Rock? So you're spawning next to an enemy? That would be great. funny to be honest. Yes. It might, it might upset some people. I remember well, everything upsets this. some people these days. Can't yeah. say anything no more without upsetting the people. This one might be a fair concern, though. I remember still WCA Grand Final when aye yours aye was aye up 2 0. Aye it was Turtle Rock close position. We thought it was over. Why, Remo? Was... Why do you have to remind me of that horrible, horrible day two days in a row? I buried these memories deep, 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 deep in my mind. But it was an epic <laughs> tournament in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. We're moving towards the mid game now. Happy and 40 still together here over on the top right shop. Also, combined forces creeping together for second law line. Now, on level 2 AM as well. We get the Naga second one more time. And I guess the Pally must be the second hero choice again. Yeah, it's just such a great combo. Why would they change anything? Also a lot of stability in the mid game where probably their build on this map, like they could be exposed to some sort of pushes. We do have no pit lord. We have a, a lich on happy side, but what is 40 doing? Do we see that yet? We don't see that yet. His tier two is finished. That we do see. Happy is going to tier 3. Ball Light and Sock not so greedy this time to both go tier 3. They know on tier 2 there's going to be pressure. They're going to have to react. Dryads could help out quite a bit, but they're not ready at the moment. It is the Blood Mage! Hurrah! Finally! Blood Mage is safe. Bloody makes the debut in this game for third. Ooh, town portal home. That's one moon well down. That's two moon wells down. They are buying a lot of time. What's that? This the, the zero oh. army. What the hell happened what? here? Ooh, and that is a rip on the Naga. And no light supply block. You can't even restart her. Oh. Ay, yay, 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 yay. Pain is real. Sock didn't have a TP, right? Well. He lost it before, he never rebought it. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's why. Lolai wasn't considering that fact. How is the team that isn't comms coordinating worse than the team that isn't in comms? Opposite day. Weird, weird, but good play here. The aggression pays off so far. We're happy in 40. More creeping needs to be done. Now level three is right around the corner. All right, does that turn the tides though? Fuel by a paladin. He is level three. Also doubling down on that mana burn against the mana siphon of the blood mage. But in the end, there's always more siphon. What's the push gonna be by Happy and Forty? Is Forty staying on tier two, going breakers, rifles with fiends, destros? Well, we do have the orb now in the lich. That is certainly a big help. We took a lot of siphon, but now finally the demon hunter is dry. But I guess with the brilliant aura also, it's going to get the mana for the burn pretty soon. Only 50. And we're calling the boys. Oh, big commit here. This almost looks all in from 40. Yeah, and why not? You don't want to give them too much time for orbs, tier 3, etc, etc. Let the heroes grow. No, no. We have Blizzard now. 
Sock needs a very defensive position. There's not much fortification. There's not, there's not much of anything in this base. There won't be a Naga returning from this altar either. As it looks. Nana really struggling this game. The siphon over and over. He doesn't have the crazy support of the Paladin. His ally, the Pally, is in level 3 yet. Level 1 highlight is decent, but not insane. It's not going to be the invulnerable Hunter this time around. And the push is looking strong, the push is looking deadly. And that's exactly why they picked this map. Tower's coming up. A couple of militia and ghouls falling, but well, that's totally fine. I like the position. It's the best they can do, I guess, to backslap them and cutting reinforcements with the sustain they got. But the sustain is all been drained by a blood mage who is indeed working out wonderfully. Rifles are falling. Should maybe reset the rally point. It is kind of hard, though. Blizzard? All right, but open battlefield should just be happy for the domination. Especially the fiends and rifles here on top of the dryads, they should be getting absolutely eviscerated. The mana is still proving to be pretty tanky in the front line, but it almost looks to be the only thing that is durable. Naga third, I also like for happy here, by the way, slowing down the demon even more. This is a super counter demoner play, this map. Yes, yeah. that's right. Slow them down, drain the mana. So you have mana that you can fuel and top up with more mana because you siphoned the mana. It's great. Just as you suggested. And oh yeah, there was a tower push that we yeah, they kind of forgot about that, but they're following through now. Sock is shaking his head. What can we do? The human undead army is better than our army. Until man, this is crazy assassin. What a sick name, by the way. One of the big influences in the early days of Reign of Chaos was called Crazy Assassin. <laughs> it's the 2000s, man. It's the 2000s. I mean, I like Crazy Assassin more than what we had in the 2010 when some players were called Aids. What they were? Yeah. It was a Warcraft player called Aids. Wait, was he a known player or was it just someone on the ladder? Like Tier 3 China. I don't remember that. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. A bit of a weird name. Dude, yeah. All of a sudden, the Korean army has gone to a decent size. Oh my god, the Dryads. Oh my god, they are just melting away. And this game is slipping away. GG it is. And at the end, 40 take the next point. They win their map and they move up to match point. There we go. Well executed. All thought out nicely. The timings are working. Uh, the fights are working. And the, the general fortitude once again commanding nicely. Thank you, Mr. Happy XD, for the 12 month resub. Baron says there was a StarCraft player named Pooh that started playing in tourneys. Casters loved him for that name. I can see that. I can I can see that. Everybody poops, Neil. It's not a big deal. Part of life. Oh, I know. Part of life is also losing to Happy. If you are a Warcraft player, if that here will be happening again on the next map, then it's over this road for the 2v2 team of Sock and Lawlight. Next map, we can say with joy, one of our favorites, Shattered Exile. Yes. Hallelujah. Let's go, Shattered Exile. I want to see game five. Give me all that expansions. Blow up all the expansions. Give me big, epic battles. That's what Shattered Exile stands for. SE, special edition. Super exciting. Super amazing. <laughs> yes. Special. Special enterprise. I want a new Star Trek so bad, Remo. It's not. There's nothing coming out. Is there a new Picard coming? No, it's over. I was about to say if Picard died, but you shouldn't say that. Maybe that's going to spoil some people. Yeah, after your. After your Kobe joke, let's not talk about death anymore. That, was <laughs> that wasn't a joke. That was an accident. It was, it was Just a... like the helicopter. <laughs> Hi, yeah, yeah. Ah, just kidding. Um, there was also supposed to be a new Star Trek movie coming out, but it seems like that one is taking forever, right? That was uh, initially rumored to be done by Quentin Tarantino. Oh, that would be sick. Yes. That would be weird as well. 
Quentin, Tar <laughs> Quentin Tarantino has sworn to only make one more movie. Ooh. If that one happened to be a Star Trek movie, it would be funny, actually. He'd be probably come up with an alien race that's just feet. <laughs> and it would be a masterpiece. For sure. Did you like the latest one, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? You will be shocked that I did not see that. Yeah, this this is the first that was the first Tarantino movie that I didn't really like. It wasn't yeah. like bad, it wasn't terrible, but I found it rather not engaging, to be honest. Maybe you're just getting numb. To feet? Because <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, you've been exposed to his craft for like two decades now, right? So maybe it's just yeah. just I mean, growing sure, old a little bit. But Django is still amazing. Uh, Hateful Eight is still amazing. I like many of his movies. Last year, though, or the last 12 months, I think Good Things was my favorite movie. Really, really cool. Very uh, unique. Great director. Anyways, um... Movies is not our primary concern today. It is, believe it or not, Warcraft 3. The next map coming up could be the last one for this whole 2v2 tournament today. Before, of course, tomorrow is the grand final. And, yeah, this is the pick for Sock and Lawline. What's going to be the plan, Neil? What's going to be the strat? It seemed like they were doing the best so far with Mountain Giants. Is Shadowed Exile a good map for Mountain Giants? Well, it is. Uh, it can be played, that's for sure, because the SE is also standing for safe expansion. And you can do that, and with that, uh, you can go to Tier 3 and establish that Mountain Giant play. It's not that easy as the map is so big and has these two lanes. So usually we see a bit of a one-on-one -on -one in the north and a one-on-one -on -one in the south, and rarely units combine or uh, armies combining and then clashing. And it's a lot about the assassins in the middle of the map as well. So expect a uh, two big Tucker Wars. And then we'll see if Mountain Giants can be established or not. Yeah, all right. Tried the MGs twice. Once they worked, once they didn't. On Turtle Rock, it was just Dryads, which seem to have absolutely no chance against when you're facing an army of fiends and rifles. Dryads is not what you want to be. We'll see, of course, also if there's going to be a hero adjustment. I would say the Blood Mage has worked out way better than the Pit Lord did. That's just my impression. Maybe I'm a bit biased. Neo, perhaps you're the counterpart. You are, after all, number one Ascalor fanboy. Yeah, I mean, how can you not? It's, it's such a great hero. But I do see the impact of the Blood Mage, and I'm not a Blood Mage hater. Either flashy. What stylish. is the best spell of the pit lord now? What it's is obvious, the coolest spell of the pit lord? That's obviously cleave. Cleave. Yeah. It's, it's rather unflashy though, isn't it? No. You level it to <laughs> tier three, and then I you mean, right click. If you use rate of fire, you call down meteors from the sky to strike your enemies and ignite them with the burning fire and vengeance of the what's it called, the burning legion. That is way too much effort. Like, Cleave is just like, you hit a bunch of people. Yeah. A lot. Hard. Did you see? Oh, you probably didn't see it, right? In a weekly cup final, Leon played Sheik. And Sheik tried to necro wagon push Leon with the Pit Lord second. Game went so long that the Pit Lord reached level 7, and then he just <laughs> cleaved away at the peasants. It was glorious. It was wonderful. It was a beautiful, beautiful Pit Lord who was not even named Ascalor, but it was just everything you need to know about a Pit Lord was that game. And level 7 Pit Lord does sound pretty cool. I will say he has one of the coolest ults in the game. Yep, the Doom Doom is a guaranteed kill and a sick summon with four abilities. That is... Like, imagine they would patch this in now. Like, oh yeah, we came up with a spell that uh, gets rid of one of your units, guaranteed. You can't do anything against it. When that unit dies, you get a summon that has a disable, a crowd control, area of effect damage, and magic resistance. 
and hits hard and has a big Sounds nose. Good. Sounds good to me. Right? And also, the Doom spell has uh, a lot of interesting interactions for games like Yannis Kanis. Yeah, that's the greatest thing about it. Haven't How's been tortured. Kind of been going lately. Well, Florentine became a dad, so we were on a bit of a break. But he will, he shall return in two weeks, I think. Battle Nod, thank you for the 15 month. Always a great way to start my Sunday. Good. Nice. We continue. Thank you. We're glad, we're glad to hear it, Battle Nod. And we're glad to resume now again with the game. What do we got here? Demon Hunter Archmage, Archmage DK, everything stays as it is. So, I'd say the two humans expand then, eh? It's a ghoul opening again by Happy, by the way. Ooh. Perhaps doesn't appreciate the slow fiend opening so much anymore. He's a busy boy, he has yet to play a best of seven, gotta speed things up this late game. I have no time for that. Lin is waiting. That's right, guys. Best of seven versus Lin later after this 2v2 match. Make sure you tune in. Don't want to miss that. It's pretty yeah. crazy how late this grand final is in China. It's going to be like seven hours now, right? Isn't it yeah. soon? It's soon to be midnight and the best of seven is yet to start. <laughs> Oh, it's great for calculate our, a little bit. <laughs> great for our audience. I mean, you can't expect like a well. It's Happy Verse Forty, so you can't expect a long series. But yeah, burning the candle on both ends today. No the aggression into Lord Light's main base, but this time it seems like the Koreans are set up a little bit better defensively. They're both level two against both level ones. Seems a bit, perhaps even over eager. Am I the only one being so confused by the bell on this map? I didn't even know there was a bell. Dude, it's ringing the entire time. Dong, <laughs> dong. Ah, now I hear it. What do you mean? It's pretty quiet though. Yeah, but it, it's it's not on other maps, right? So it's I think my brain. It's confused. Oh, the DK. Getting hunted down by this Archmage. Good start so far for the Koreans, I would say. Limiting the damage in the Night of main base. Good defense, took out a bunch of ghouls as well. Lots of ghouls died, right? Three ghouls going down. Lawlight only lost two wisps, if you see that right. Another ghoul falls. Really good defense by the Koreans. There we go. DK incredibly hurt. Archmage also hurt. One on each side, though. And... Oh, 40. Could have been surrounded if Sock paid attention there. Happy still here, but limited damage. No expo, though, on either side as text progress. Happy still being a nuisance here, but... This might be a very low level DK for the entire game. 1.5 only. Man, Happy got almost nothing here so far. With 40 creeping with Militia, he's finally gonna get level 2. Finally the aura. But the Koreans are way ahead. Alright, bringing us to a game 5 at midnight. Do they have April Fools in Asia as well? Is that a cultural thing? Or is that a Western kind of thing? I don't believe it's a thing in Asia. Chat, if you know, let us know. Demon Hunter getting level 3. Oh, he's gonna be such a bully this game. Yeah, it's a good items already. Probably gonna pick up the boots as well. This is a dream start for Lawlight and his ally. Japan has it, China, I don't know. Thank you, Pishy. Yeah, we don't switch up the heroes on the Night of Human side. Naga again. Lots of units and we cross the map. Let's go. 
Lollipop now looking for a bit of his own aggression. We'll see if Happy can resist the pressure as much as Lolai was able to do it before. Happy, I think he saw this attack coming with a Skelly, right? But he's not moving away from the camp. Might be getting caught here at the lab. Oh, yes, he is. Whee! Okay. Gets away by the ghouls. Or oh, does he get away? Whee! Dead he is. That's just, that's just brutal. This game is just brutal. Shattered existence for this DK. And the building gets cancelled as well. It's just all out domination in Team Korea. Yeah, this is so bad. Not even a tower in the main base. This game might just kind of be over. Must feel good for especially for Lolai to be able to bully happy around like this. Not something he's used to normally. Defense footies though are pretty strong right now, but even the acolytes in the back of the base are suffering for Happy. This has been a disastrous game for Happy. The worst game we've seen for him in a long while. That's right. Blood Mage is here, but down to 50%. All that piercing damage, man. Blood Mage there. Ah, Zeppelin. Oh, he stole it. Well done. And the mana burn for the kill. 40 is also getting annihilated. Jeez, go next. The Lich is out, but there's no DK here to save him, to help him. It's just a reckless attack. Yeah, happy, um, no, no fatigue to be seen. He's still fighting, he's still trying, but that is another kill. Third hero kill in quick succession. DK is back. Paladin will greet him. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> 11 supply for Happy Dude. <laughs> so you're telling me there's still a chance? <laughs> 8 supply. How long can how long can we go? Like a game of limbo. Supply limbo. 7 supply. 6. Oh, he rebuilt the hero. This is anybody's game, though. Happy is thinking. Oh my god, he almost killed the last acolyte. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a game to enjoy. Why close it out if you can get further ahead? There's an expansion soon to be up. It's absolutely like there's absolutely no chance. They have 60 food combined. It's ridiculous. And there's an expansion coming up for the Korean team. I don't know if it's ready yet. Nope, not yet. In production right now, and this game couldn't look any better. Ooh, you might have triggered the actually, folks. Actually? Yeah. Actually, Remo, if there would be fewer buildings and the hero might be dead, it could look better. Damn, that's a good point. Right, right, right. Thank right, you for right. Me. Yeah, I know. I'm just, you know, chat is gonna uh, say that. Um, Assassin up. Next push coming. Pretty late in Korea as well, but uh, you know, our boys are gamers. They don't go to bed before six, seven a.m. So that's no problem for them. It might be a problem for this poor DK. Here's the push. The MGs are in tow. Dude, the mountain giant is half of happy supply. <laughs> Take him soon. A little bit of fancy footwork with the Zeppelin as well. Slaughterhouse. The most important production building for the undead. It seems like it will. I can't repair anymore. There's no lumber left. <laughs> What a disaster of a game for Happy. One third of Happy's entire army tried to repair that slaughterhouse. And it failed. And it failed. Well, 40. Still of the opinion that this is winnable. Got a little lumber dono. Alright, happy to giving it his all. Uh, facing monstrous odds now against each other. The Tome of Retraining. Just getting ready to, to 
wonderful blizzard ability. Level 4 now, lots of mana. Dude, even the pally is almost 3 out of 8. Yo, they got a lot done. Demon Hunter inventory also fantastic. We get the loud armor again, right? Oh, is it this one? No, maybe the other one. Is this insane? There, so loud. Literally unplayable. Big item here at least for 40. Pick it up already. No, there is. The belt. Hmm. Okay. Not necessarily a game winning item. Now that you say belt, I hear the bell again. Bing! <laughs> Sounds very similar to the Elden Ring mausoleums. Might be the same sound file. Alright. Three players at around 50 supply. It's Happy who is trying to catch up. He is at 30 right now. Archmage. Ooh. A little damage there. Happy TP out. The Holy Light. We're able to save him in time. Dude, imagine they win this. They can't win this. There's no way they're winning this. This is happy. Of course, but there are limitations. That's what I thought. And then I saw Liluami coming back in an FFA with zero supply. That was impressive. <laughs> Pretty crazy. I saw, yeah, that was indeed sick. I saw Moon win a game with only one tr building left. That was sick. Like, and no army, of course. But yeah, eh. dude, if like Lawhead and Sock, they have to fumble this so hard. But they won't. They won't. There's no chance. Love the Demon Hunter's item, dude. Look at that. Bonus Agi, bonus HP. Real nice, big invuln. He's gonna be a great frontline tank. And of course, fueled by the Holy Light. Blizzard is on an acceptable level as well. Two expansions coming up. Suck the light, both on tier 3, they got the expansion, they got crazy good heroes. Happy is still struggling to build a decent army. Don't need the triple hero at least. Oh, the Mortal and the Blizzard again against the main. Ooh, dangerous. With inner fire, Mountain Giant inner fire, it's here, all the AoE. All hail the AoE gods. This economy is wrecked, but 40 holds it. You have A-bombs. Those are good units to have right now, for sure. Ooh, blood mate. What are you doing here, buddy? Deep. <laughs> Forty has been struggling with his hero positioning this 2v2. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. And if we think back at Hammerfall, not only the 2 and 2. Yeah. Some truth to that. Oh, maybe one goes down. Second one as well. All right. It's time to call it. GG. This game goes... Sock and Lawlight, perhaps the most one-sided so far of our games. I'd agree. We go game five, baby. Midnight Gaming for 40 Sock, Lawlight, and of course, Lynn. Lawlight having a grand time there. We might actually get 16 maps here today. Nice. <laughs> they will decide this grand final at like 3 a.m. China time. <laughs> Wonder what the viewer numbers are then. Yeah, this could easily go another three hours now. Yep. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We got lots of Warcraft action here today, folks. On this championship Sunday, we're going to be determining a winner. The big champion of the Warcraft Oster League March later. After this 2v2, after this last map, Happy and Lynn will meet in the grand final. And yeah, Happy, he is uh, putting in the work today, game after game. As he always does. 
Very cool to see so much Warcraft action, of course, always on this channel. Tomorrow we're back with the 2-2 two two Grand Final at 1 p.m. And uh, since Jim Newbie League is starting, I might be playing a lot of ladder soon as well. And you know, coaching, etc. I'm part of the glorious team of the Banana Bandits. The BBs. The BBs. Nice. My teammate is Neely, the AoE caster. He's making... Oh! Yeah. He's... I, didn't even, I didn't know he played uh, Warcraft. He well. never did, but Jim is all about learning the game, right? So he's taking a break from AoE and that... Uh, what was he said it's time to learn time to learn Warcraft 3 he was oh, at Rara Land cool. 1 really yeah oh, cool what race is he playing human makes sense okay. for Age of Empires player I guess yeah. true he was looking at the races and he was like there's only one power build here <laughs> where Christ, can I play game? a horse it has multiple options, yeah. actually, but yeah, cool team so far. All right. Do we know the map yet? I forgot what the fifth map was. Uh, Nullwood. Ah, yeah, Nullwood. How could I forget? How Where's could one of the you? Old, unique classics. And then we play the so game. This was the map where yesterday uh, Hep was trying a ghoul build here as well. You mentioned it before, and he was getting absolutely devastated by an enemy mountain king. So I wonder if there's uh, something else prepared this time. Wonder who took the break now. Let him cook. Let him. Like after this dominant game, wonder if we go back to the strategy drawing board. Sock and Lola, it came up with a great solution to this uh, Blood Mage play. Early game was just as good as it gets. Yeah. And it spiraled out of control. So I wonder if that causes a uh, shift in strategies. You always have to consider the fountain. It's going to be random, health or mana. What's it going to be? Nullwood has a lot of unique characteristics. Huge map, but not many creeps. Very difficult indeed to creep on. Some crazy items are possible at the red camps. But we, I think we never saw the red camps being crept, right? Rarely. You have to go so far on the map. But what would you think of like implementing a 2% chance of this being a fountain of power? It sounds like a loot box strategy, bro. You just bit. have to play enough games and then I mean, I mean if you found enough power. If anyone knows a lot about loot boxes, it's you. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> I have paid for that knowledge dearly. <laughs> Fountains of power, they don't heal more though, right? They're just mana and HP. Correct the mundo. I mean, that sounds broken as hell. Why? But for 2v2? Right? I mean, how are you ever going to beat an MK at a Fountain of Power? I mean, nuke him. You got, <laughs> got a lot of mana too. Or just banish him. I mean, then he has Stormbolt and Clap. That's a bit annoying, but... What do I know? Here we go. Decider. Who claims the bronze medal in the 2-2 two -two tournament? of the first 2-2 two -two tournament in the Warcraft All-Star League. Happy 40 or Sock Lawlight. What is the fountain and what is the position? I did not see the middle of the map. Did they show it yet? I didn't see it. Huh. Okay. Then we got Sock on the right-hand side. Lawlight below. Close position to Happy. The two humans in a safe spot. Outskirts. And Lawlight close to Happy. Okay, this is going to make creeping for Happy pretty awkward, right? You probably want to get to the shop, but there's an Ancient of War there. I think that was the big reason also why he played the Ghoul build before, yesterday, because he wanted to creep a bit. 
The shops are normally the best camps to go for on this map. You can creep those easily, get claws if you're lucky. And indeed, it is the ghoul build opening by Happy. But if he can't creep this, he can certainly harass the camp. Lolite was uh, bursting out in laughter there. See that? I wonder if Sock cracked the joke. He didn't look like it, or if Lolite found himself so funny. He is, after all, a very funny guy. Might be feeling even more joyous if he gets away here with the win and the bronze medal in the end. One could call him a Joker, you know, since his first name is Yo. Yo, yo. <laughs> Shadow Priest available and... Oh. Don't get hit! Don't get hit! Uh, Don't get hit! Uh, Saved! Oh, close one. What is that? Okay, right, mercenary camps in high demand. We see it on the opposite side as well. I think Demon Hunter and DK are also meeting in the middle. Quite full experience here with received just yet for Lola, but he got the item. He bought the circlet and found the ring. This is good items already for the Demon Hunter right away. And poking away at the Death Knight immediately. The last map, the DK was aggressive on level one, took a little damage, and then Happy had not much in the way of defense. In this game, also, his base being so close to the opponents could be a viable target once more. But this time, there's one major difference, and that's the 40 is on level two instantly. Right on. And we have a fountain where you can heal a little bit. DK with Aura first. They're rushing across pretty much immediately again. Archmage of Sock, well leveled. Circlet double gloves. Of course, also mercenary support. Maybe trying to go for the moon well. I don't think he has the damage here at all to get the kills though. Maybe they're just trying to threaten the wisps, slow down the tech and try to get out clean without losing anything. So far, they in fact have lost no units. Ooh, Shadow Priest goes down. That's annoying. Demon Hunter's getting oh, surrounded here. Yeah, nicely done. Four footies. Great execute. And that is gonna force TP. Yeah, pretty early. Alrighty, way better than in the game prior. Still no crucial damage though, eh? Tech lead is sick. Absolutely. Happy and 40 both having an edge there. The wisps being shuffled around, slowed things down for Lawlai. Then of course both humans were using a lot of militia to get that first merc camp creep and the level two. And now the fountain might soon be revealed. They are converging towards the middle. But Happy is again very low level. And that really hurt him on map four. True that. There's no fountain of XP. That would be quite something as well. That sounds like something out of Balloons TD. Do you know Balloons TD? No. It's a tower defense that you can play, I think, maybe on iPad and mobile and stuff, but also on Steam. And uh, it's pretty cool tower defense with different levels and challenges. And all the towers, and they have like dozens of towers, they're all different kinds of monkeys. There's a scientist <laughs> monkey, there's a ninja monkey, there's ah! a doctor monkey, there's, ah! a, there's an ice monkey, a wizard monkey. That sounds great. Pretty cool. Alrighty. Pretty cool is also that piercing damage against Happy's ghouls is DK again in a bit of trouble. Backstab Demon Hunter. Gotta be careful though, because he doesn't have a TP. Battle for the Fountain is on. The question is who's going to be able to prevail? This is the time in the game where the ghouls will certainly fall off, especially the Watch Elementals are very strong against them. So it's footman battles and the mercenaries also helping a lot. Ooh, Archer's almost got the surround. Ooh, did you see that? 
Blood Knight almost able to catch the DK, but not quite. And now we see a transition into Fiends. Lawlight really wants to get the big play here. Oh, but the archers receive the Nova right in the face. And there's a dust as well. It's two kills pretty easily, instantly. But then like still only another one man. This is ridiculous. Yeah, no coil he, as he went aura first. That's crazy. Sock with the deny. Naga is coming. Fountain still up for grabs. 40 and happy, of course. Trying to heal here now. Sock trying to conquer, but with the Demon Hunter not being present, that's a rough task. Right, Fountain woken up again. The little gnolls go down first. That is still not enough for the DK. We have now arrived on tier 2. We see the Naga second. Of course, Glitch showed up a while ago. And the Blood Mage is again coming. Alright, hopefully he has a bigger impact than in game one. Otherwise the bronze medal going to Korea. Dragon, any snipers? Yes, of course, happy is. Flute on the Korean side as an item, but important level two on the DK. Finally has the coil at long last, gets some healing. That almost seems like a record. Rec record. Seven and a half minutes for Death Knight level two. Might be a rather low level game for happy. Siphon being used to help out the allies. First on the AM, now on the Lich. And the Koreans fall back from the middle for now. 40 again with the rifles and the casters. Lolayet is expecting a push with the AP in his base. Sokka also rifle casters on the way. Lolayet still needs a lot of time, I'd say, before anything of value gets online. Because tier 3 only have way. Absolutely, this could be a quick execute once again because Frenzy is going to be getting upgraded very, very soon. Scary time for Lawl Eye. He has to trust a lot of the Demon Hunter to hold the base for him. He's got really good items, by the way. Circlets and claws and rings and boots. It's not level 3. There's a thing about Nullwood, man. It's really awkward to creep. Yep, it's really awkward everything on this map. We have a Tom of Retraining. We do get Blizzard and here's the big push. For third place. Are they prepared enough? Oh, he's even calling the boys. That's the decider here. TP home quickly. Here's the ally. The paladin's ready with the heal. He's providing the aura as well. Blizzard and Frost Armor on the Dark Mage. The AP holding pretty well. Did I just see a bear? Uh, no. You are hallucinating, my friend. MG it is. Yes, I am. Chop coming up in the back. Happy and 40 trying to reposition. That's a pretty solid defensive lineup, but Lola, it needs time for production. He also needs gold. This pilot is unhappy and 40. The Blizzard, though, is still zoning away, buying time, more energies. Could turn the tide. We have a Dark Ranger third for Happy. And the Silence intended to cancel the Blizzard. Yeah, this push? I don't know, man. It's not too much steam. It's not too much damage done. They could switch targets, go up north, try to hit the human main base, although that is the least, uh, the less vulnerable of the two bases normally. Position Naga got the orb. Mountain Giants get their upgrades. Laliad is getting more supply. And we decide this at around 50 on each side. Blizzard, blizzard, blizzard. Day baby. Mara and MG, great frontliners. Blizzard again hitting both sides. Nova in the back as well. Radix coming through. Not too many losses yet though. Kinda weird also for Sock to reunite his army. Expansion at 12 o'clock is starting to kick in though. Oh. Yeah. That it should be looking better and better for Lawlight and Sock if they have the time, but I guess also 40 as an expansion right there behind the push. That's pretty, pretty bold. The shop here is wonderful though. Clarity's region scrolls. So nice. 
Ice cream. So good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, game on, like, pretty even, I'd say. We're breaking 50. We are both at tier 3, tier 2 each. With the humans being the tier 2s, of course. Very few consumables, though, on the Korean side. Against three heal scrolls. That's rough. Oh, yeah. That they may want to try to break through. Demon Hunter getting staffed out right away. The clone over becoming more dangerous. Although the DK is still not level three. It's gonna take a while. But the AP falls, the static defense gone. His hands against the Blizzard, Colnova against the Paladin. He drops low as well. The Korean's trying to set up a sandwich right here, but the bun in the light's hands. It's not going to be too scary just yet. Not really. Three MGs, a lot of uh, it's not really meat, but it's a lot of stone. But Happy and 40, they're pressing forward. Sock has to save them somehow. And he's trying to relieve the pressure by going for the base. Oh, it's all a matter of time. Lo how long can Lawlight hold? Using infrastructure quick. Moonwell's falling. Shop is gone. Dinahan is still not level 3. His burns really a non factor as of yet. TP though by 40. To the expansion. Is that still in time? Uh, go down. He, he pour, oh, it's close. Blizzard gets the kill. TP out on the cost of a rifle. So, Lolite also holds against Happy, doesn't he? There's no way for Happy to single-handedly break MGs. Happy didn't start the transition into Disease Cloud yet. I think that's something he should look towards next. They do have a supply lead, but there are a base down. 40 is probably rebuilding it. He's rich. Has no lumber at the moment to rebuild it. That's problematic. Actually trying to kite back. They always take quite a bit of damage. The MGs are starting to kick in. Yeah. Damage over time here. And I don't think the heroes are in a position where they can carry the game. Like, only one level three, that's nothing. Yeah, it's ridiculous to see Happy with such low hero levels. That's normally never the case. 2-2-1. Two, two, in 14 minutes. And Sox now tier three. He's got huge upgrades coming his way as well. Working on the mortars, working on the frag shards. This army is gonna be so good, but still needs a little bit of time. Love how Sock is used as the weapon, while Lawlight is just the punching bag at the moment. That he is, but he is tough punching back. Trying to cut through these mountain giants. Happy's trying to stay in there. It seems like the Korean team is playing the more convincing walker at the moment. Attack here is going to force the TP back. All right. If 40 can win this fight, there is still something possible here. Level 2 in the Blood Mage. Is it going to be... Flame Strike? That's just going to TP out. Paladin got level 3 in the meantime. And even more kills. 40 lost quite a bit there. Three rifles down. Berzy as well. But the base has been re-established. But there's still a tech down. How are they supposed to catch up and tech and of course we have a heal fountain lolite finally able to break out of his base curfew is over and the levels are there the economy is there army is there tech is there everything's there yeah absolutely looking better and better for suck and lolite consolidating their forces right now lolite is so rich 800 gold even spending at the moment we made a lot of moon wells, that was no problem. And the big tier 3 armies are about to be ready. Is that the last, one of the last chances already for 40 and Happy? Disease Cloud's still not there. But Lolite and Sok are somewhere in no man's land. Did not expect this push, maybe. Oh, all of a sudden the Tree of Eternity might be in trouble. Here comes the TP, second 40, half position, the MGs are playing, coming in very passively. 
or defensively, I should say. It's so weird. Yeah, finds the way to the enemy expansion. Yeah, it's so weird how it's just five units. Five units is enough. And Sork, another volley. Oh, Aye. Nice. And that could be the knockout punch. Tech advantage, XP advantage, and expo advantage now on the Korean side. That was a sick snipe. Great decision making by Lolite and Sock. Seeing, okay, I can hold this with three MGs. You do you. You use your MGs. And now, yeah, we, now we push. Oh, what a death ball this is. Five MGs is Five the magic MGs. number. Oh, God. It's gonna be a slaughter. No A bombs, no disease cloud. There's seemingly no way. We have flame strike. That. Something? Archmage is the only hero who's over level 2 on 40 and happy. Force the TP back once again. Oh, flame strike blizzard. Oi, oi. Pretty sick oh. right here. Suck! And happy is fighting one on one against Law Lion. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? What a bad TP. I mean, he's still getting huge damage done, and they have an expo, it's all right. Oh, that was an invite. Six MGs. Taunt, taunt, taunt for days. Too bad it doesn't have the double taunt anymore. That was so fun. It oh, was how much fun great. that was. Great. Oh, Matt Morris, you wonderful genius. How you came up with that. Oh, I'm setting up another expansion. Huge lead now for the Koreans. 80 supply, all of a sudden. Oh, it's crazy with the MGs, right? You don't look for a minute, and then suddenly, boom, up by 30 supply. Yep. That's what you get with a lot of gold. DK, out of health. Only a TP. And this... The cow. There's another expansion growing, I think. In the middle. Fortitude is there, but Sock and Lawlight army, crazy 130 food, knocking on Happy's door. Are they gonna feel bold enough to truly attack into the undead main base? It's normally a big no-no, but I guess that didn't stop them on map. <laughs> Six mountain giants. It's so much. Now it's time to go. Oh yeah, that blood mage. Oh boy, is he out of position? Catching a big fork lightning. Mortar teams with the AOE blizzard on top. Fiends melting. Demon hunter saved. Heal scroll though. Wait, is he safe? Does it matter? Ah. Oh. A-bomb, gun down, fiend, bye-bye. Heal scroll on Lolight and Sokka as well. There's no damage against these MGs. Like nothing. This should be main ending here. The mortar teams take out the main as well. No active production anymore. No potions anymore. The MGs aren't even really hurt yet, and they can always get to the fan. That's right. I mean, ignoring the MGs is kind of what you're supposed to do. But you know, at some point, even their damage is stacking up. And if that fight lasts for a while, then yeah, you have to deal with them at some point. And fighting mountain giants at a fountain. Yeah, good luck with that. There ain't no way that's ever gonna work. They're gonna try to go for a push into Lawlight's main one more time. But there are TPs. The Koreans can react. <laughs> Attack on Titan alternative ending. I like that. They still won't give up hope. They're still fighting. Hopefully Lin is not falling asleep. After midnight here. Blood Mage level 3, Flame Strike level 2. They try to burn down the trees. I 
might get the tree actually. Fib Tony, about to fall. Mala and Sok are not reacting, really. They do, of course, have more mining bases still, and they might just go for the counterattack. In Happy's main, there's no Black Citadel anymore. That's right, they can TP soon, though. Oh, can they? Blizzard, Mortars, Paladin, Hammer. Okay, they can't. Sock is breaking up, keep. We got the inner fire mountain giants again. They're untouchable, dude. Untouchable. We're also doing some good damage here. Silence is needed. But he's dispelled now as well. Look at Happy's chair, dude. Dong, 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 dong. His entire body is working this game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then the opposite at 40, of course. Dude, the Diga is still level 2. How is that possible? <laughs> 23, 23 minutes. 23 minutes. What? Uh -huh. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that happy. They finally figured out that there's an expansion at 12 o'clock. Some long games today, some long series. This one, though, seems to be nearing its end. All I lost, lost the main, didn't bother him too much. <laughs> Can't stop looking like at that chair. Engines? Yeah. Um, I'm always confused. You need the shop, of course. Do you need the tech? I don't know, man. I think the wagon was way too late for me. I think if he had had a wagon right away in the push, it could have been a different story. You were calling for that wagon on map one. Yeah, man. One wagon for disease cloud, so much potential. GG! Bronze medal for Sock and Lawliot. And they did it. Well done. I think they had higher aspirations and wanted... Uh, <laughs> shaking his head. Oh, that was fun. Oh, Sok is so tired. Oh, no. Oh, he's crying. He's so happy. Wait, what is the time? Korea time? Plus, plus seven, oh, right? 12.30 only. Time for a nap. That was a fine tournament by Sok and Lolaid. I think they can still improve for next month. And... Yeah. Cool to see, man. Human Night Elf, super fun. Um, 40 and happy also. But the grand final will be fought between human and orc.